pause for this run maybe down to the water. We took a little side trip. Come on, see if we can make it out there without being all squished down. We did see a dead sea turtle back there behind us. So I took a couple of pictures of it. So, Okay, part two of our Port Mansfield shed hunting. One of the locals said that if we come over to the levee, that we might be able to find some over here. And then you have Nagiles over here too. He said to go up and over in the bowl. He also said lots of snakes. So we will need to be sure that we keep a close eye on dog even though he runs out and comes back and runs out and comes back. He wasn't kidding about snakes. There's a rattlesnake tacked up up underneath there and dog was walking straight up on him. Good dog. I told him back, back, back and he moved back. Oh yeah, he's right there. I don't know if you guys can hear the rattle, but he is right there. See him? Yep. I don't have a long extension, so I can't do a up close of him. But that boy there walked right up on him. I told him back, back, back. And he came back to me. And he's a good dog. Yes, he is. Uh-huh. I am old school right now. I do have the backpack on, but I don't have the tripod or the big camera or anything like that. It's just me, dog, phone, and backpack with water in it. I did replenish his water. We went through three bottles of water on our hike earlier. Water tower's right there. We hiked the other side of that water tower uh, this morning. Lots of tumbleweeds over here and butterflies. We didn't see butterflies and tumbleweeds over on the other side. That paracord with the noose, slip knot, worked out pretty good. That way I, I, I was hoping it would work. That way I can carry more water for dog and still get the antlers back and forth. A bunch of little does running across in front of us over there. One big old buck, he's right there. I can't tell if he's got one antler or two. One thing about running them, getting them scared up, there comes another one right there, another buck. 
anyway the one thing about getting them running even though he said it's like two weeks away before they'll be ready to start dropping uh, there could be some antlers back here and then running you know when they're jumping over fences and stuff it sets them off to to drop antlers too so you never know dog really wanted to get after him but that the fence is actually put up over here it's not laying down like it is in some of the other areas over to the area where the deer were running we are going to start working back towards the truck it's starting to get hot dog is not real good me and heat when it gets to be 80 degrees outside 85 I do have water for him if we need water. We probably should go back and check these trees back here. Anyway, I do have water for him, so he's he's covered there. All right, much shade. You ought to see him when we hike and do a long hike in the heat of the day and where there are shade trees. He will run or move from shade tree to shade tree to shade tree. But there is no shade out here. There goes some more right there in front of us. Wow, they're just, they're everywhere out here. I was wondering where all the deer were. There's hardly any in town anymore. First time Lynn and I and Dog came down here, there was deer everywhere. There goes a big buck, there goes another big buck. And they are both still holding both sides. something white right there. I don't know if dog sees it or not. He is very interested in the deer situation. That could be a shed right there. Have I found a shed today? Let's see what he does. He's well he was going over towards it. Well he passed by it so I guess it's not a shed. <laughs> no, but you know what guys and he walked right by it because he's so interested in the deer There sits one right there So yours truly has found a shed And dog walked right by it, but he's gonna come running over here and claim it. Oh Look at that boy right there He was pretty he was real pretty. He ran off in the trees over that way. He was pretty. I think dog, he had dogs after him. He goes right there. Look at that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I would love to have that set. Dogs right there. Well, I'm gonna go pick up my prize. <laughs> It's hard white, guys. It is not chalky. This one is hard white. I'm on the board with one on this side over here. Look at what you missed. Dog, look what you missed. This one's mine. I found it, not you. I know, huh? You walked right by it, dude. <laughs> Well, this is pretty good. I found one and he didn't see the oceans right there, guys. It's right here on top of the hill. That's the little town of Port Mansfield, right there. 
this is part two guys like share subscribe pick a video of dogs that you like share it with your friends this is dogs life this is what we do we get out and hike we play on the beach we play in the ocean we play in the, when the snow and that's what we do so say uh, bye bye Say bye bye. Yeah, I know I heard it too. Say bye bye. He's a good dog. He's a good shed dog. Normally he would have found that one, but uh, the deer had him sidetracked. And I'm not trying to make up excuses. He has his good days, and I do actually find him occasionally. So that's a that's a highlight of my day right there. So from South Texas guys, Port Mansfield, oh I don't know, last week of February 2024, until next time, that's a dog right there, you guys be safe.